Something recently happened to me that I feel like we all can relate to. I'll go ahead and say it. My boyfriend wants to adopt a pet raccoon. <laughs> yeah. I like telling people that early on in my sets because it lets them know three things about me. Number one, I am queer. Number two, in a relationship. Number three, it's interracial. <laughs> we don't do that. Just one of my rules as a black person, you cannot adopt a pet that at any point in time could also be used as a racial slur against you. So why I can't get a raccoon, it's why I can't get a monkey, it's why white people should stop getting labradoodles. Oh, y'all didn't know we was calling y'all labradoodles. My bad, that's on me. <laughs> I said queer intentionally and explicitly because that's what I am. To me, queerness is that I'm hungry, but I don't know for what of sexualities. <laughs> My sexuality is just a salad from McDonald's. It's confusing to some, appealing to others. Either way, I'm loving it. <laughs> you know what, maybe I'm bi. Maybe I'm bi because I am attracted to very feminine men, but I'm also attracted to very masculine men. I recently <laughs> told... I recently told a guy at coffee that information. I said, I identify as bi or queer because that's more honest and reflective of my sexual and romantic journey. But if you were to call me gay, wouldn't get mad. Gay is not a bad word. In fact, sometimes gay is just easier shorthand for straight people to wrap their brains around when they don't want to have to use the terms we come out with every three months to categorize, quantify, and qualify sexuality. And he said, that is a lot <laughs> to write on one cup. <laughs> And I said, you right, my bad, homie. My name is Jay, and you guys, he still got my name wrong. He just wrote gay on the cup. <laughs> Put that there. I hear from those varying pitches that there are some straight people out there. That's nice. Listen, I like straight people. I do a lot of straight outreach, usually at urinals. Uh, <laughs> just handing out pamphlets, don't get crazy. Okay, here's a little bit of honesty. I used to be straight, then I got better, yeah. <laughs> There's a vaccine for it, did you know? That's right, vaccines don't cause autism. Vaccines make your kids gay. And by that, I mean they let your child live long enough to figure it out. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, because last week I did that joke for what I can only describe as a very pro-polio crowd, so. <laughs> Between you and me, I'm just happy that joke still has legs. No, you guys, I'm serious. I did used to be straight. I used to date girls because we've all made mistakes. And um, <laughs> I like to think of the female body the same way I think of the South in the sense that I'm from there and I visited. But I don't know if that's where I want to raise my kids. <laughs> also, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Does that? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, you guys, that is a perfectly pH balanced joke. <laughs> That joke is a seven. Uh, I could go back, ladies. I could go back. I could go back. That is a threat. Yeah, it could definitely happen. I could go back to dating girls, but me going back to girls, that's like LeBron James going to the Lakers in the sense that it would cost a lot of money. I'd probably have to bring some of my boys with me. And at the end of the day, you ain't getting no ring. Um, <laughs> I'm originally from the South, and you Southerners here? Okay, weak response, maybe we won't rise again. I, I'm from Mississippi. If you guys don't know, it is a small third world country located southwest of here. Mississippi is actually an old Native American word. It means nigga get out. So I did, I took that hint. <laughs> They have some weird laws in the books, technically. Like, they still celebrate Robert E. Lee Day and Martin Luther King Day on the same day. What kind of racist Reese's peanut butter cup situation is this? That is like having a Ku Klux Klan roadmap of dashiki material. That's like having a cover band called the Stonewall Jackson Five. <laughs> All I'm saying is, Mississippi, you can't have your cake cake and eat it too. It's not. <laughs> I can make that joke though, cause I'm from there. To me, Mississippi is family. She's that one aunt, you know, that one aunt. I don't love her politics. I don't like the way she talks about certain minorities, but the bitch can cook. So, um, 
What do you want me to do? Not invite her to Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah, Auntie, I'm an abomination. But you know what is not? The sweet potato casserole. <laughs> so I went Mississippi, then I went to Alabama. Now, I made a joke earlier, and Mississippi is a Native American word, so is Alabama. Alabama is two Choctaw words, Allo and Bamo, and together they mean, boy, didn't I tell you to get? I went to... <laughs> Went to Alabama for graduate school. Yeah, that's right, I went to grad school. I got a BA, BFA, MFA, HPV, a DUI. These are all things that you can get in college if you apply yourselves, children. When I was at the University of Alabama, I was a graduate teaching assistant. I taught a pretty controversial subject. I taught conversion therapy. Don't worry, it was in the right direction, straight to gay, or as they called it, introduction to theater for non-majors. <laughs> had a high success rate. <laughs> uh, a theater crowd, good to know, because you guys are in luck. This is what happens when you don't do well at your Hamilton audition. I, I have definitely thrown away my shot. Oh. Some people have seen it. No, after, after Mississippi and Alabama, I did move to New York, and New York definitely changes you. Whenever I moved to New York, I realized there's two things. It makes you sad, and it makes you gay. It makes you sad, because whenever I go back to Mississippi, I see how good I could have it financially. I go see my little brother. He's living in a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, two car garage, brand new subdivision, A plus school district. And he's like, what's up with you? And I'm like, well, you know what? Sometimes, Mark, I get a subway car all to myself. <laughs> for like two stops. <laughs> and then I realize someone has pooped in the car. And that's why I was empty. So you say we're both very happy. That's how New York makes you sad. New York makes you gay, or in my case, gayer. I think they put something in the cum. New York makes you gay. Because the other day I said something I never thought I would say to my boyfriend in a million years. I said, baby, where's my mesh tank top? And he said, which one? And I said, don't be silly, we're going someplace nice, the black one. And then he said, which one? And I said, forget it, we're gonna be late for church. And I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea about me. Church is actually a gay rooftop bar I go to every Sunday. So that whenever my southern grandmother calls and asks if I've been to church, I could be honest with her. <laughs> Did you go to church? Yes, ma'am. Did they serve communion? Kind of. <laughs>